Hey, deserving listeners, 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life, Colt, let's watch. I'm curious to see what is going to happen this week. And let's see if anything interesting comes out of my face. I just want you to be a more honest person. I I have been. Yes, you have been. But also, there's a thing like when you get caught in your lies, you start backtracking, backpedaling, and you're like, "Uh, I just want to see if you're capable of just coming out with the truth. Okay, so that's what I thought as a possibility as to why they're doing this, is that for Vanessa, she wants to see Colt come clean, and she wants to see him exhibit remorse, and maybe that will help Vanessa to trust him more. That makes sense. I just want to come here. We just wanted to come here to apologize. Like, I I know I, I wasn't the best boyfriend. And I'm sorry that I hurt you. We should have just broke up a long time before we did. Okay, so as you know, I like to analyze apologies. Uh, The elements of an apology in summary, I won't go through all of them, are I'm sorry, I recognize the emotions that I caused in you, the bad emotions I caused in you. It makes sense that I caused those emotions in you because of what I did. You're you're the normal one. I was the abnormal one. I, I have remorse. I... I don't have an excuse, but I have an explanation. I have a problem with this and that, and I'm not excusing it, but I'm trying to work on those things, and I'm really, really sorry, and I'm trying to change in the future. Uh, Thank you for uh, listening to this, and I I hope that, you know, something along those lines. Okay, so uh, Colt is along those lines. He's saying, I'm sorry. I was to blame. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Let's see what else he says in this apology. And I lied to you. I lied to you about Vanessa. I lied to you that I was in love with her. I just want to understand what happened, like... Oh, you want... What happened? Yeah. Like, I want to listen to her first. Because you lied too much. I I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I'm not lying anymore. Tell me what happened. Okay, so using the show as a jumping off point, if you are in Jess's shoes, you want to be careful about actually asking that question. It's normal to be curious, but sometimes when you get details, it actually can traumatize you a little bit. It's one thing to know in general that you were cheated on. It's another thing to know the details because that runs through your head and a visual and that can actually stick with you a lot longer than just knowing the topic sentence. So I will actually advise clients, and if I was there and this was therapy, I would say, whoa, Jess, just hold on. You can certainly ask that question. It's totally within your right, and you should get an answer to that if you want to know the answer. But you want to be careful about asking that question and getting that information because it actually can traumatize you. Now, I think a lot of us would imagine that Jess has moved on now, and she has a husband, and she's fine, and maybe it wouldn't traumatize her. But you do want to be careful. It's a very common compulsion of like, I want details. I want to know when, where, how. I want to know exactly what happened. It's normal, but sometimes it can actually traumatize you to hear that. So Colt and I started talking when he was with Larissa, and then eventually we met up in person. I just like talking to him at the time. I didn't- now, the upside of getting this information, at least uh, not necessarily the gory details, but the overall details, is that it'll help you to rewrite the story because for some people, when you're being cheated on, you kind of feel it or you feel like something's going on or there's an unsettled feeling you're having. And then to hear about, oh, so you were cheating on me that whole time. That makes sense to me now. That's why I was feeling that way. That's why we were having that relationship problem. And so it makes more sense to me, and that can actually be more settling and, and actually can heal us to get that information. But I started dating somebody else, and Colt, this pissed me off. Colt got very mad that I was sleeping with somebody else. So, so I slept with you. To piss me off. And it worked. And then we started uh, having sex about a month after you guys started dating. After I came back from Chicago. So now the conversation, especially from Colt, seems to be along the lines of, look what I did. I'm awesome. I was cheating on you the whole time. So ha ha ha. Uh, So it doesn't seem like he's there to say I'm sorry. What he should say if he really was sorry in this moment is, and by the way, Jess, I am so sorry. (laughs) That was all on me. There's something wrong with me. I should never have done that. In fact, Vanessa probably shouldn't have done that either, but that that's on me. You were the good person. You didn't cheat on me. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay with that? Do you want more? What, what, what can I do? 
you must be really angry at me. That makes sense. But that's not what Colt is doing right now. It seems like he's in a mode of, look what I did. Ha, ha, ha. I got you. And then he have sex with Vanessa all the time. I know deserve that. I no need that. I deserve better. When I'm inside this cold, I feel crazy. I feel I'm wrong all the time. But now I see I'm not crazy. He shitted me, he used me. I right, so the information is helpful to her because it helps her to feel like, wait, I felt like I, there's something wrong. Was it me? I felt like there was something wrong with me. Now I realize, no, the whole time I was right. All the feelings I had were correct. I was absolutely detecting something that was going on. So it helps me to hear that, and now I can move forward. I'm right all the time. I kept a lot from you. Vanessa helped, and I'm sorry that I hurt you. And I, I do apologize for doing that to you. I, I do know it was wrong to sleep with Colt when he was with you. So you hear the tone between Colt and Vanessa. The way Vanessa apologizes, even though there's similar words that they're using, Vanessa seems more sincere. Now, maybe Colt is sincere, but he doesn't seem sincere to me. Now, maybe Jess is taking it as sincerity, but I'm guessing not. And this has been something that I've been trying to figure out about Colt from the very beginning. There's just something odd about the way he communicates. And I don't want to speculate about it because there's too much speculation along those lines on the internet. But I will just say, let me know what you think in the comments because, you know, I, we've watched a lot of hours of Colt and the way he comes across, even the way he moves seems a little different to me. I, and honestly, I really don't know. I don't even have an hypothesis about that. But the way he talks, it always seems like he's struggling with the words. There, sometimes he, he's even kind of slurring his words, which, of course, would lend itself towards intoxication or a medication issue or something or brain damage. But I don't know. There's just something about the way – is he – is it uptightness? Is he socially insecure? Is he shameful? Does he not have a lot of practice? Was he abused? Is he does he have a hard time with spontaneity of emotion? I could see that. You know, when when you grow up with abuse, and we really have no idea, but I I have a running hypothesis that his dad was abusive. Again, there's just no way for me to know, but it it would explain a few things, and. When you grow up with that kind of abuse, sometimes you learn at an early age, you have to suppress just who you are and your spontaneous emotions. And so when you try to convey emotions, you, you, there's a barrier there and you have to f force past this barrier. And sometimes you come across to other people like you're insincere, even though deep down you actually have some sincerity around it. Or you no, don't really have a lot of experience interfacing with others in a spontaneous emotional way. And so when you're trying to interface with others in a spontaneous emotional way, you don't really know how to do it and it comes across as odd. I don't know. That's just the only hypothesis I have. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sorry, Baba, because I'm really angry, but the problem is you. You're fake. I'm not fake. You're a fake. You yeah. lie about a lot of shit. Meet the white Brian. I'm talking. You're lying. Me. Shut the fuck I, up. I'll I say what the fuck I want. You probably please. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, this is kind of a weird conversation. I, I guess I could have predicted that it would have gotten to this place. So, okay, Jess is upset and saying you're fake. Is it understandable that Jess is upset? Yeah. Is Colt technically fake? Yes, he faked. So if Colt is there to apologize, truly, then he would say, yep, you're right. I did lie. I was fake. And you're right. I cheated on you. And that's not okay. So I think now we're starting to see maybe the true reason why Colt came is maybe because Vanessa wanted to apologize. Vanessa wanted to see how Colt would apologize. And now we're seeing how Colt apologizes, which is to get defensive and to tell him to shut up. Like, what is going on right now? To be honest, I mean, Colt was even weirder than I thought. And I just saw how full of shit Colt was in person. <laughs> It's fresh. Baby, how do you fall for that? You're new here. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> well, I really need to date Cole. Well, now I want to get to know this guy because he seems to have something going on too. <laughs>
I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe he's just a quirky guy, but um, uh, maybe are we going to see more of this guy? Because I'm curious as to what his personality is like. Sit and talk, and I could apologize to her and try to show her that I'm a changed man and maybe have her forgive me. I don't know if she accepted my apology, but at this point, Vanessa and I have done everything that we could do. I feel like I'm finally getting closure for whatever problems I had with Jess and finally can move on. Okay. So he says, I was hoping that I could apologize. I think what he is not saying is I was hoping I could apologize and Jess would, well, he did say this, that she would accept my apology. But what did you expect, Colt? <laughs> like, one, she doesn't have any motivation to accept your apology. Two, you're just dropping a pretty big bomb in the room there of not only did I cheat on you this one time, but I was cheating on you basically our entire relationship. So if you're looking for an apology, it's not, you're not likely to get it in that context. I, I find it interesting that that's I – think, I think in his head – well, what was in his head? I think – if I was to take a guess, I would say on one hand, he was hoping that everything would be rosy and wonderful and he could have, he could feel good. He could get Jess to like him again or something. That was a fantasy. And then on the other hand, I think there was a part of him that knew or actually that wanted to poke at uh, Jess a little bit and see like, look what I did to you. Ha ha ha. I mean, not like really nefarious, but a little bit of a little bit of revenge on their ongoing because the both of them have been hurting each other a lot even while they were going out but even after that they've been attacking each other quite a bit so i think this might have been a, a subtle attack a passive aggression if you will and i think on that side he knew that she was going to protest and get upset and then he could conclude oh that's right she's hysterical she's fiery there's something wrong with her and then he could quote unquote have closure in that way but i don't know i'd have to ask him and I hope Vanessa can see that, too. All right. Well, that does it for that episode. Everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.